Hello lovelies, bonjour tout le monde, c'est Privet, Cap Fajdila, Agnasia Yorobun, bon dia comme estas, and welcome to the Christmas special edition. Let's get right into it. Christmas I went around the city of Moscow, where I'm living currently, to do a little exploring, trying to get into the Christmas spirit by looking around to see what is going on, what is everybody else doing. So plenty of beautiful Christmas trees, and I went into an underground tunnel where I discovered you could write a lot of stuff on the walls because they spray them with some snow. So people were just writing whatever they felt like writing on the walls and I decided to join in on the fun. So how about we get into our adventure in the Moscow tunnels. Stay tuned. It started off as a snowy day. I could see the snow fall from my bedroom window. But I decided to go out anyway. The tiny flakes were everywhere, but the more they fell, the more snow there was. But it was Christmas and I wanted to have some fun. And there I discovered in the tunnels of Moscow, Quite a delight. I could write my name and anything that I wanted on the wall. So I wrote, Tina is ready. That's right. Tina is ready for anything that could come my way. It was awesome. And then I took some pictures. And there were giant decorations, Christmas decorations almost everywhere. It was awesome and beautiful. I was already into the Christmas spirit. I could feel it all around me. Especially near my house, there's a big mall where you could see these big decorations that they had put up. And then there were tunnels of light. Another great thing that you can find in Moscow especially around Christmas time. Then I was ready to just go home. Most people like to buy their own Christmas decorations to put on their Christmas trees or hang around the house. But I decided to go DIY because my fingers were feeling crafty crazy. So how about we get into my little crafts. I'd like to share with you how I did it. I made little woolen hats that I could hang on my Christmas tree. So let's get into our arts and crafts segment. Stay tuned. So I have with me uh, strips of paper that I cut and then some yarn. I have five different colors and so let's get to it. So I take my strip of paper, fold in a circle. Then take my stapler and staple the ends. So now I have a circle, circular shape and now I will begin to yarn around the circle. So I'm going to take my first strip of yarn, fold into uh, as if it's a note. Put it underneath the circle, the note shape right at the top, and then the other end from the bottom goes through the note and pull. And I repeat the, this procedure right around the circle. Take my yarn, fold in two, make a note shape, Put the note shape right at the top, take the bottom part, and then put it through the note, and then pull, and repeat right round my 
circle until it's done. Of course, right at the end when all you have are the ends, you tie them in a note and knitten up with your scissors. So you have your little Christmas hat and you can put on your Christmas tree. I made a couple of these tiny Christmas hats. Well, I called them Christmas hats because I've made them for Christmas. And you can decorate on your Christmas tree like I will do, or you can hang them from the ceiling. It's very beautiful. I've done it before. Or you can just put them on your dressing table, play games with them when you're with your kids, all kinds of things that you can do with this. So until next time on Crafty Crazy. Bye. Growing up, I've often heard, beauty lies within the eyes of the beholder. Well, how far true is it amongst African men? What do they consider to be beautiful? Well, growing up, I would often hear that a beautiful woman is one who could cook. That's right. Why? Because food is something that brings people together at funerals, at uh, special celebrations like weddings. And I've often talked about how people sit down to get to know each other while eating food on a date or even special holidays like Christmas. Now, Christmas is difficult this year because of the pandemic. I could not go home to be with my family, but that does not stop me from cooking yummy food for myself. So from the kitchen, what do I want to share this Christmas with you? Band of lovelies out there, let's get into our A Taste of Africa recipe for Christmas. Stay tuned. Mmm, Kanaka, Manandi. Delicious. So I took two chicken breasts, cut them partially on top, and I'm going to marinate them. So I've marinated my chicken breasts with some garlic, some Indian masala spice, as well as with some salt and some soy sauce. And I'm going to leave it in the refrigerator for a few minutes and then I'm going to cook. I've oiled my tray, placed my wrap inside and oiled it with some butter. Next, I put in my marinated chicken and then I lay it with some onions and some mushrooms and now it's time to put in the oven. And there it is, dinner for one. Our chicken fillet, our cake and our ice cream mixed with some kiwi and grapes. And of course, some rose wine. Bon appétit! And enjoy a taste of Africa every Monday. Merry Christmas. Like your own A Taste of Africa product, be it a mug, a t-shirt, a backpack, a notebook, why don't you head on over to my Shopify page? The link is listed below. Wherever you are around the world, you can get your own product mailed to you. Until next time, enjoy A Taste of Africa. Looked up and saw the storm clouds coming. I knew that it was gonna be a beat. For hanging out with me this Christmas, I do hope you enjoyed this segment that I prepared just for you, Band of Lovelies out there. Do hit the like, subscribe button, and share with your family and friends out there. If you think that there's something that you would like to see more in Tina's Corner of each episode, why don't you say so in the comment segment and I'll make sure to read. It was also very encouraging to hear some feedback from you. If you think you want to add some spice to Tina's Corner, make it more va va voom and you'd like to collaborate with me on something, do send me an email to tinasmusicpage at gmail.com and I'll make sure to read and I'll get right back at you with my thoughts. Now I have to say that Christmas has been special with you and I do encourage you to Play it safe out there because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. I do wish you to keep safe always. Wear your mask and your gloves 
wherever you go. But until next episode, I'll have to say goodbye.